Hey everybody, and welcome to part uh, 13 of God of War, and for some reason I forgot to save again. I, I tend to do that, but uh, let's see where we are. Temple of... really? I guess we're just in another spot. So apparently, this game is slightly longer than A Chance of Olympus, but it's not going that much longer. At least it doesn't seem like it. Oh, I remember this. It's Demos. Our long lost brother. He's got some crazy ass fists going on. Brother, you are safe now. <laughs> Shit! You let this happen to me. You were supposed to protect me! Did you think I would forget? I will never forgive you, brother. Oh shit, guys, our brother's pissed at us. Die, Demos. My electricity. Like, man, he knocks you back so easily. I don't know if Kratos wants to fight his own brother, though. Man, how many times do you have to beat him up? Like, I hate that bosses in this game don't have health bars. I believe they have health bars in like every other God of War game. Oh, he's not dropping any health or anything this time. I wonder how close we are. What's he doing? Okay, I'm like, I guess there was supposed to be a, a like a scene trigger. Let him win. You left me. Get up! Fight me! Kratos won't fight his brother. I hate you, Kratos. Come on, Kratos. Don't die, man. You gotta kill death itself. I don't know how easy or how difficult this will be. But I don't think we're gonna make it. See, Kratos could not fight his brother. There's some dedication. Oh, time to go up some walls. Like I'm destroying things in this the suicide bluffs. I remember this place. You no 
longer have power over me, Thanatos. Wait, was he possessed? I think he was possessed. Alright, go figure. It is the god of death, after all, you know? I don't know if this is timed, but I'm trying to go as quickly as possible, brother. I'm coming, man. Dude, why... why... Got him! Come on, man. I guess L and R when he needs both arms. I still think they should have made him wear like the gear on his back, you know? Come brother, follow me! Like that way it looks like he's carrying it at least. Man. All that and we're still not done. Yeah, dude, you're gonna be one of these annoying people, aren't you? Like over here! Come here! Over here now! Come hither! Like, just gotta answer a text. If my freaking phone actually wants to freaking type. So, anyways, we're at the suicide bluffs, obviously, because that's where we were two seconds ago. Yeah, let's follow Demos. Boink. <laughs> the Oracle may have yet spoken truth. The marked warrior shall bring about the destruction of Olympus. <laughs> Ares chose poorly that day. <laughs> he took your brother when it should have been you. None of that matters now. Nothing you do is of your own choosing. The gods do not decide my fate, Thanatos! <laughs> the gods decide, and the sisters of fate make it so. You are nothing but a pawn in a game you don't even know is being played. Pathetic. Now! Is the time, Kratos, the beginning of the end. Thanatos is just happy right now. Okay, cool. And this meter's full. Spartan, stand tall. Oh, you little bugger. Oh, God, he blinds. Who the fuck is he? Oh. Yo, dude. There we go. Oh, that's what gives us health and stuff. Oh, shit, I think we're dead. Oh, never mind, that's what they're talking about. There can't be the god of death. Oh shit, he's a demon. Oh, it's another one of these enemies that only fire can destroy. Oh, since 
we broke open his arm, he's now you know, able to be hit. Shit, what's going on? Are you gonna turn back into a demon? Hey, buddy! I ain't gonna let you touch my brother. Yo, man! Demos, what are you doing, man? Oh, hang on. I'm coming. There we go. Teamwork, man. Are you gonna turn back into your demon now? That doesn't hurt him up there. Oh, there he goes. Oh god, that goes right through. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, you now do something to him. Say, man, you're gonna die. Come on, brother. We're leaving Death's Domain. It's not fair that you had to die. Ares grabbed the wrong kid. Ares made the wrong person serve him. Ares causes the downfall of Olympus. All because of Ares, every god will have to feel the wrath of Kratos. 
and all of the pain and suffering he has felt over the course of the years. The pain of losing his family, his brother, everyone he's ever cared about, his armies, the betrayal of his own people. Kratos, Kratos will see to the end oh, I have a of it all. Thank you, Grave Digger. It is done. You have let go of that which made you mortal. Your ties to this world are severed. You are ready to be a god. Forgive me, brother. And with that, the plot unfolds for the next few games. Well, the next two in particular. Game one is technically Ascension, where we take down the Fates. And with that, guys, that is God of War Ghost of Spire for the Nintendo P. Or the Nintendo. The Sony PlayStation Portable, or the Sony PlayStation 3, depending on which one you're playing on. We're playing on the PS3 for HD graphics. Hope you guys all enjoyed this this playthrough. And, uh, yeah. With that, Kratos is about ready to destroy the gods. Upon killing the God of War, he became the God of War himself. Upon killing Death, he became the God of Death himself. So now... With the power of war and death, Kratos has become the god, the, the destroyer of death itself, the destroyer of worlds, the god of war. And that is it, guys. Probably one of the most epic PSP games ever made. There are very few PSP games that ever had this amount of quality graphics. Like, sure, the original was not as beautiful as this, but it honestly made the PSP worth buying. This, and then Ratchet and Clank Size Matters, we'll get into that another time. But right now, this was the most amazing of the God of War Origin series. We got to go to Atlantis, we got to go to Kret, we got to go to Volcanoes and Vortexes, the domain of death itself, Sparta, our homeland. It was amazing, the mountains. From hot to cold to wet to dry to life to death, we got to do everything. Don't you feel like a god after playing this game? Don't you just want to take over the world? Destroy everything that lies in your path? I feel
Athena, you have created the ultimate soldier. With that, guys, I will leave the the next game that we're going to be playing in the comment section below, or description, depending on how you guys look at it. Uh, the, game, the channel will be a little more thorough with its descriptions, with its titles, you know, a little more boom, boom, boom. But, uh, yeah, so, with that, I'd like to say goodbye, guys. If you guys enjoyed this uh, video, remember to subscribe to the channel. If you guys like this type of game, I do plan on playing God of War 2 and God of War uh, 3, and then eventually God of War 4, or I believe it's just literally called God of War because he's going over to um, the Nordic Worlds to deal with, like, the Norse gods. So, uh, yeah. I give this game probably an 8 out of 10. Like, it isn't perfect. I found that too much of the stuff was cram-packed together. There wasn't enough, like, actual secrets to look for. Like, I sure I didn't collect all of, like, the, the items for when you beat the game. But I beat a majority... I got a majority of them. Um, playing this on God mode would be extremely difficult, as is any God of War game. But, yeah. This game also has the most boring credits I've ever seen. Like, the original game had, like, all, like, the scenes from us playing, zooming out. Then the one after that had, like, uh, just gameplay of us. And then this game is just like, oh, well, we zoomed out from the shield, which d did look nice. The graphics were absolutely immaculate. But then you get, just got the credits going scrolling down the side. The entire right half of the screen has nothing. Like, occasionally when, like, the word administrator is there, it gets over onto the side too much. But... Yeah, I will be finishing Sly sometime down the road. Like I said, I have to catch up on that, and I just haven't been in the mood to redo a game. As for the bonus content for both Spyros, uh, Yoshi, and Kirby, they will be coming soon. Do not worry. Uh, I'll probably have a bonus video day on uh, Thursday of this week. Today's Monday, so you'll see these Tuesday and Wednesday. You'll see just regular gameplay, and then Thursday we'll have all the bonus content. So. That's something that you guys can look forward to. So then I can clear those projects off my list. And, uh, yeah. Uh, anything else I want to talk about? I guess you probably expect to see the Ratchet and Clank Future Series coming soon. I absolutely love that series. And I technically have the first two games. I don't have the third one yet. I can probably pick it up for cheap. I believe it's like 11 or $12. I do have enough for it. But future games that I can do for the channel are the Jack and Daxter series, like I have the trilogy, I can do God of War 2, uh, Call of Duty, any of the Slys, because I have all four, uh, Bloodshot, and I mean like any Call of Duty I have, Modern Warfare 1, 2, 3, I have Black Ops 1 and 2, I don't have World at War yet, sadly, so we'll probably start off with Modern Warfare, like I do plan on playing all games as Let's Plays eventually at some time, so even Call of Duty will be a Let's Play. Uh, like I said, Sly, Ratchet and Clank, God of War, Call of Duty, um, yeah, you name it, Infamous, I have a lot. I have a lot that I want to play for you guys. And I'm really hoping you guys are looking forward to that. I plan to play some of the Magic games, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh games, Pokemon, Yoshi, uh, Kirby, Mario, you name it. I haven't done any Mario games yet, so you can probably look forward to one of those coming soon. So yeah, um, these credits are going on forever. I swear, like, the last ten minutes have just been credits. I will admit, though, that final boss fight was less gimmicky than the Persephone boss fight and the Ares boss fight. But Thanatos was a very epic boss. I love his demonic dragon form that he can turn into and just... Man, absolutely beautiful. The game is amazing. Oh, another series that I want to start eventually is Donkey Kong Land. I'll be doing one, two, and then three. Uh, two is literally one is like a unique joke game that came after uh, Donkey Kong Country came out for the um, Super Nintendo, and they're just like, okay, we'll make a Game Boy port. Turned out to be pretty fun for being kind of poor graphics. Still a good game, good music, uh, good everything. Um, as for 
Donkey Kong Land 2, it's literally a black and white version of Donkey Kong Country 2, and then Donkey Kong Land 3 is its own unique game. Shorter than all of them, but still pretty good. So with that, guys, I leave you with this Let's Play being finished. Mm-hmm.